dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Archangel Saint Raphael. We read about this great uh, messenger of God in the book of Tobias in the Old Testament. It's a magnificent description of a, of a heavenly action, an angel sent by God to come to the aid of this man, Tobias, a very, a very pious man who, as we read in the book of Tobias himself, was uh, helping always to bury the dead. He was even taking the dead people into his house the whole day to be able to bury them during the night. He was offering up uh, prayers and sacrifices. He was giving alms to the poor. And also it is accounted that he used to leave his dinner in order to bury the dead. This great man of God offered everything up to God for his glory and to take care of other people, especially to be merciful towards the dead. The Archangel, gave, the Archangel Raphael came to his aid because at some point, by God's permission, this man of God was uh, blind. He became blind. And uh, while the wife was telling him, but what's the purpose to still be a pious, uh, devoted man and uh, trust God when he's punishing you with this disease? But like, in, as we read in the book of Job, this man, Tobias, was always firm in his confidence in God. To the, the, the angel of God was sent as a, a young man to help this, this man. And in fact, by Tobias' son, he was, he was cured with the help of the archangel Raphael from his disease, from his blindness. And also, uh, the Archangel Raphael, who at the first wasn't uh, known, he was disguised, and in fact he appeared as a young man. Eventually he revealed his identity and told Tobias that he was sent by God right because of his righteousness, because of his piety and his zeal. And, uh, we read also in the book of Tobias that uh, Saint Raphael, the angel of God, says that prayer is good with fasting as Tobias used to do and also to give alms. And this is much better than to lay up treasures of gold. For alms delivers from death and uh, help a person gain eternal life. Saint Raphael uh, revealed his identity and uh, told Tobias he was sent to be his medicine. In fact, Raphael means medicine of God. He helped uh, Tobias to be healed from his physical blindness, but also he came to Tobias' family help in order to, to uh, deliver Sarah, Sarah, who was uh, Tobias' uh, son, uh, wife from the devil, and in order to have this young family, Sarah and uh, the young Tobias, happy. Because we read always in this book that Sarah had already seven husbands, but everyone died before being together as husband and wife. Saint Raphael then came also to the aid of Tobias' family in order to heal spiritually this, this family. Uh, this is the book where we find about the work of the angel, better to say the archangel Raphael. Uh, we know about the presence of the angels in the holy 
Bible, which is um, attested by almost uh, all the books in the Old Testament and then in the New Testament. The three archangels of God, St. Michael the archangel present in the book of the Apocalypse, St. Gabriel the archangel who is present in the Gospel of St. Luke, the one sent by God to announce Our Lady with this great uh, message, the incarnation of God, St. Raphael, who was sent to heal Tobias. Uh, this is something very, very important for our faith, the presence of the angels. Let us just briefly uh, remember that an angel is, is a spirit, is a spiritual creature. The angels are all created by God. And the uh, angel is not the name of that spirit. Angel is describing the word angel, which is uh, the one who is sent, uh, describes the, the activity. The angels are God's messengers to bring about God's uh, messages to the world, to the people, as we read in the, in the Holy Scripture. So the angels, and in this case, Saint Raphael, are God's servants, ready to, uh, to obey God's will and uh, to be ministers of God's love and God's providence in this world. This reminds us also of the importance to often think of our guardian angel, who is a celestial spirit sent by God to help us, to guide us in every day's uh, life. We have finally to also remember that all the angels are very keen on serving one person in heaven who is in charge of all this uh, court, celestial court, and this person is Our Lady, the Mother of God, the one we say to be the Queen of Angels. Our Lady is the Queen of Angels. And we can definitely say that this, these three archangels, Gabriel, uh, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, are uh, under Our Lady's service. They, they are very ready to obey Our Lady's will and uh, to be sent to help people on earth. So we can pray to our blessed Mother Mary, the Queen of Angels, to be able to have the help of the archangels of God, to be able to always have this help in our spiritual life. Especially we call on, through Our Lady, uh, the presence of Saint Raphael today, the physician of God, in order to be able to be healed. First of all, spiritually, from our pride, and also, if possible, uh, physically, if we have any issue. Uh, let's pray to St. Raphael through Our Lady's intercession to be always guided by God through these celestial uh, spirits and angels. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit,